Good morning, Hawaii, and welcome back. The time now is 6.19. It is time for Social Wire, and Yasmin Dar is back with a pretty sweet story of success. Yasmin, mm, what's this very, all about? Very tasty, too, Kenny. Well, she was a stay-at-home mom who loved watching the Food Network show called Cupcake Wars. Without any formal baking experience, Lisa Denise decided to challenge herself in the kitchen to see what she was able to create. Now, in addition to whipping up some incredible flavors and unique creations, she started posting photos online, which quickly went viral. Check out her story. What do you get when you combine fresh and quality ingredients, add a mix of local flavor, and one of the largest social networks on a very popular photo sharing app? Well, you get Ka'ohu Cupcakes. Lisa Denise started off by making cupcakes and making cake pops at home, but very quickly became a huge hit amongst her family and friends. She is famously known for her signature lemon cupcake with Lihing Mui buttercream frosting. But if you thought that was exotic, check out what other flavors she's got. We do like a wasabi ginger cupcake, mm. and then I also do a banana adobo cupcake. <gasps> so this one I have here is uh, cookies and cream, made mm. with Oreo cookies. And then we have um, watermelon and honeydew melon. Uh, the fruits are from local farmers here, so you know, support local farming. And then we have uh, fresh lily koi, also locally grown. Mm -hmm. And then we have a uh, mango and orange cupcake. And I noticed that after Instagram, you have been baking nonstop. How has Instagram helped your small business? It, oh my gosh, it helped me so much. I, at first I was just on Facebook and Twitter, and I was kind of disappointed because I didn't have so many likers and whatnot. But after Instagram, my, my likers from like 200 something is now up to almost 400 people. Mm -hmm. And then the orders, it's has increased from like nothing to almost 100%. So I'm constantly busy and baking and baking and trying to make new flavors as I go too. So it's very hard. <laughs> That Instagram program she's talking about is on the Apple OS systems. And she went from 400 to over 1,000 followers on Instagram. Now, if you're wondering how Lisa came up with the name of her business, well, Ka'ohu is the name of her daughter. And if you have a small business and would like to be featured here on Social Wire, email us at socialwire808 at gmail.com. That's a look at today's Social Wire for Small Businesses. Mm. And, and Yasmin, uh, tell us, be honest, how many cupcakes did you eat? Um, did you see all those samples she had for us? I pretty much sampled all of them. Wow. <laughs> it was so delicious. And my favorite one was her watermelon cupcake. That sounds great. So and good. banana adobo. I bet it's a mixture of sweet and salt, which is really popular right now. It is really popular. I didn't get to try it because she didn't make it that day, but it sounded really interesting, and I love tasting new flavors. You're so yeah. lucky. You get to try everything. <laughs> We're hungry. Yeah, it's, it's 622 now. That's right, and uh, I know you're monitoring the roads this morning, and uh, there's some situations on our roads, right? Yes, that's me? right, that's right, Maha. Earlier, we had earlier um, stalls and accidents. That have been cleared, but you can see here, headed in through the Eva Beach area, typical yellow arrows, still very heavy for commuters making their way out through Waikele. And then once commuters come here towards the Waimalu exit, that's where we're going to take you on our city and county traffic cameras.